Hello everyone, welcome to another segment of e-learning on eduforce.ngos.tv slash school media with the topic introduction to organism and its environment. All living organisms have the ability to grow and reproduce. To grow or to reproduce, organisms must get material and energy from the environment. Plants obtain their energy from the sun through photosynthesis, whereas animals obtain their energy from other organisms. Either way, this plant and animal as well as the bacteria and fungi are constantly interacting with other species as well as non-living part of the ecosystem. That's for the introduction. So we're going to look at the content. My content is divided into five sections. When you have studied this content, you should be able to identify the features of energy flows in the ecosystem. One, the ultimate source of energy in the ecosystem is in the sun. Energy is lost at each trophic level in a feeding relationship. Energy is lost in form of heat energy. Only 10% of energy is stored by an organism. And the last one is there is decrease in energy long food chain. That's for the division of contents. So we're going to look at the parameter numbers. This is a diagram illustrating the number of organisms at level in a food chain. We have the first one which is the quaternary consumers, tertiary consumers, secondary consumers, primary consumers and the producers. So that's for the pyramid numbers. The next slide is on pyramid of energy. It is a diagram that illustrates the transfer of energy from one trophic level to another. The energy is measured in kilocalories. That's key core. This is a diagram that illustrates the total weight or dry mass of an organism at each trophic level in a food chain. It's taken into account the size of individual organism. It is calculated in grams per meter square. Individual organism increase the in weight alone, along the food chain. That's for the pyramid of energy. So we're going to look at the example of energy loss. Solar energy and grassland is transformed as follows. 20% reflected by the vegetation, 30% evaporated transpired from leaves, 40% warm plant, soil and water, 1% photosynthesis, while the last one is the 9% loss through, 9 loss through cloud water evaporation effect of foods. So we are going to look at the first law of thermodynamics. It stated that energy cannot be decreased nor destroyed but can be converted from one form to another, e.g. light energy to chemical energy in food of grape plants and also chemical energy in food to, to mechanical for muscles contraction. So we are going to look at the, the, top, the trophic level. Position occupied by living organism in a food chain or way or food waves, represented by number by numbers one, two, three, etc., etc. Feeding pathway level in food chain, some in all ecosystem. Producer grasses trophic level one, primary consumer trophic level two, secondary consumer trophic level three, tertiary consumer trophic level four. Note the trophic level are numbered. So. The next one is the second law of thermodynamic. When there is energy conversion or transformation from one form to another, a proportion is lost as heat, seen in trophic level, only 10% of all in tissue of organism, loss energy is in digestion, digestion, respiration, movement, etc. Oxygen cycle. Essential for animals during respiration released by plants, cycle more like the carbon cycle. What is threatening those cycle and de deforestation, ocean pollution, etc. So the ecological management, we have one association, two adaptation, three tolerance, four geographical range. The last one is conservation of natural resources. So we're going to look at them one after the other. So so we'll first look at the association. Association can be defined as the interaction between two unrelated or different species of organism in an habitat. Adaptation, this is defined as the ability of a living organism to live successfully in its habitat. Tolerance is the ability of an organism to, to withstand or cope with the unfavorable environment condition in a habitat that can affect its survival. 
world geographic geographical range it is uh, it is the characteristics that determine the specific particular or habit so in summary ecology is the study of how living organisms interact with each other and with their environment and also abiotic factors are the part of environment that have never been alive while biotic factors are the part of the environment that are alive or were alive and then died so we are going with this assignment of the day for you what is symbiosis that's the question one question two is what do you understand by the parasitism question three is what are the benefits to parasites question four list the harms suffered by the host question five explain the following times a parasitic fungi b parasitic plants c parasitic ectoparasite and also the last one but not the last one is parasitic endoparasite thank you for listening